Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So today I figured I would take just a few minutes and show you guys just how easy it is to remove this Yakima Mega Warrior roof basket. Um, I've had a couple of you reach out to me in the past uh, asking me if it was difficult to do, um, and the answer is no. It's super easy, it just requires you to have a buddy helping you out uh, to actually lift it off of there safely without damaging your, your vehicle, of course. So already I have removed three of the top corner mounts and I'll show you right here what it looks like. It will pop up there and I'll show you what it looks like to remove the last one. So each corner clamp, if you will, has two of these here. So these, there's bolts extending upward, excuse my dirty hands for painting, uh, bolts extending upward from uh, the bottom clamp and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, these you just twist them off by hand, no tool needed to actually make that happen. Again, there's only one and two per corner clamp. So as you see here, we have three of them off already. Uh, on one of these, there's two of them total up there. So each corner, well, two of the corners I should say, have this locking cover. Uh, so your vehicle, your Land Cruiser should come with, um, and if you just buy the rack separately from Yakima, uh, it's going to come with a couple keys for it. Okay, so it's as simple as you're getting your key. It'll look like this. Recommend maybe making a couple copies while you have them. You haven't lost them yet. Um, and of course, keep them somewhere safe uh, within your vehicle and in your house, of course. So uh, anyways, so use this, pop them in there, just do a 90 degree turn, and it actually releases this. Then you can pull it straight up, and we'll show you what that looks like here in a second on top of it. And then underneath it were two of these here. So I'll show you what it looks like up there. Um, really, bottom line, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people kind of feel indifferent about the the Mega Warrior roof basket here. For the Land Cruiser in particular, it kind of feels a little bit like an afterthought. It's just kind of thrown up there, kind of like the Venture Edition for the Forerunner. Looks like they just kind of slapped it on up there. Um, however, I do think it looks better with it versus it just being bare up there with the the standard OEM rack. Uh, and crossbars. I think this looks better. However, you guys know I am going to be slapping on uh, either a Go Rhino roof rack here in a minute or the Prince suit rack and then putting a rooftop tent on the Land Cruiser. So that's to come. So I figured first step, clear off this Yakima Mega Warrior, Mega Warrior roof basket. So I'll pop up there real quick and show you this last one. Okay, so this is the remaining one. And like I just showed you, all you gotta do is take the key, pop it in, then 90 degree turn. Now it's loose and open. Now I should be able to pull this straight up. There we go. There we go. Sorry, trying to do it with one hand for you. Okay, so that's off. Put that somewhere safe for now. So underneath it is what we have on two of the corners. So this is how two of the corners just look as is. So these are as easy as just twisting them off. Kind of do it a little bit at the same time, a little loosen up evenly. Okay, so I can get one off for you at least. Okay, so you got one, and of course the other one's the same exact thing. Um, as you can already tell, it has a lower clamp and this upper clamp up here. And this upper clamp is, of course, compressing it as we tighten those up. It compresses that lower. With the or with the upper one here, so it just holds it together snugly on the crossbar here. Uh, so pretty straightforward, not rocket science, of course. Um, and all you gotta do is take off all of those. What I just showed you, take that one off. I'll take this one off here. This is actually my last one over here. Um, and at that point, you just need to have a buddy help you out and lift it straight up. I do recommend if you're trying to be, you know, hyper safe, if you will, you can throw down a microfiber towel underneath each of these here. So you can kind of see that that lower one, because they took off both of them, is already you know, just sitting and resting on the paint. You know, it's not, 
not damaging it as is, but when we lift off the top, when we pull this straight up, it's going to be, you know, kind of coming off of these bolts that are attached to the bottom down here. Uh, so when we pull straight up, there's a good chance that this could drop or swing or swipe on your paint. So just be safe and throw down a microfiber on each of the corners for fun. Uh, then you pull it straight up, then you can go forward or back, whatever is easiest for you, whatever step ladders you have, whatever makes sense for you to get it off the vehicle safely without damaging it, of course. So then that is it. Pretty straightforward. So I'll show you uh, right after we lift it off what it looks like here in a second. Stay tuned. All right, guys, one thing I just forgot to mention, figured I'd throw it in real quick, is you do have these on top. You can see them in that last portion of my uh, last portion of the video here, but these are on top of each of your top clamps. So I'm gonna show you on the last one there what it looks like. Super easy, you just pull them up. So I recommend pulling those off before you actually try to lift the entire rack up. So they go on top of here. Forgive me, I should have popped on the other one. So they're just on top of this and you just pull them straight up. Let me step right over. So just like this. It's just like that. So just a metal clamp that goes on top. Uh, that way it's just one less thing you have to worry about falling off or making a, any kind of scratch or dent or whatever in your vehicle. So figured I'd pause real quick to show you that. All right, here in a second, I'll show you with it removed. All right, this is what it looks like with the roof basket off. So the roof basket is here on the ground. Really, I think it weighs maybe 20, 25 pounds, if that. So super lightweight, um, you know, obviously still durable. A great, great brand, Yakima. Um, but all you do need is a friend to help you lift it off nicely. So it did exactly what I, what I thought it would. So as you pulled it straight up off of those bolts, the oh we got a peanut feature guys <laughs> nice nice there you got it guys <laughs> so when you pull it straight up it is smart to have uh the microfiber towels there's some sort of protection right underneath the lower clamps and i'll show you what it looks like here in a second you pull it straight up uh on one of the corners in particular it actually snagged the the bolt pretty good as i was pulling it up and it ended up dropping just like four or five inches so not bad at all, but still, still enough to scuff up the roof, the roof of your vehicle. Uh, so it's worth it to go the extra mile just to be a little safer with it. So this is what it looks like right after pulling it straight up. So you just have one of you on this side and the other on the other side, of course. And you just pull it straight up. What we did, we put a blanket right here on the sunroof and then lowered it kind of to the windshield uh, as we could get get our footing on the ground. Once we could stand on the ground and still reach it, we just lifted it straight up and then walked it off the front of the vehicle. So pretty, pretty straightforward there. So this is what it looks like uh, after you just lift it straight up and they drop and fall on your little protectors here. I actually ended up grabbing that one sooner, uh, right afterwards. So it actually did fall on the little protector there. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. And once you, if you just want to remove it, you just twist it and pull them out. It's pretty straightforward. Leave it there for now. But yeah, so after that, of course, I'll go up there and kind of clean the uh, the crossbars up a little bit because it leaves a little bit of a residue, a little bit of a mark uh, where this is clamped down to at. But there you have it, guys. That simple. Hopefully this helps some of you. Appreciate you watching as always. Until next time.